your opening contest for H2O 7 Epping Years Night 2 is set for one fall. One fall! And it is for the H2O Heavyweight Championship. When the bell rings, the is senior H2O referee, Mr. Nick Papa Giorgio. Introducing first in the corner on the left, he is the challenger. Fighting out of Glowbrand, New Jersey. With an official weight of 285 pounds, this is T. T. Everson. I, I appreciate Gigi wanting to come out here in the opening, you know, jump the line and, and get his opportunity now. Sure, sure. I think he kind of made a little bit of an inexperienced mistake. But the impact was still made. I mean, he still delivered the move. The contact was still made. I mean, that, that could uh, play into the later stages of this match. Oh, I don't know. Anders going to work on the challenger and overhand chops. This crowd... They're all over Manders, and, and again, it, it cost them last night, we mentioned last night, one of those, one of those times, Manders so worried about bad mouth the age to a paper, he was going to come back to haunt him. He 
has to watch himself to not make it two for two. And Gigi going to work on the L. Ah, oh, just wrenching the right arm of Manders across that and, top. And row. that's one of the arms Manders uses to hit all those lariats. Oh, wait a minute. Grab it on Papa G. Oh, whoa, whoa. Papa G didn't see any of it. The real kick right in the nads. That's a thick move. It's literally a move to the... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, now Manders going to work here now and GG using the bottom rope and hits the elbow. A little added momentum there, going for the not lateral the, press. Not the deep of his deep this of lateral presses. Yeah, no, I, I don't think he was really attempting to win the match more so than he was uh, leaning on GG Everson, forcing GG Everson to expend that energy to kick out. Right. Uh, you know. When you're a 265 pound like Manders, you're gonna want to utilize that weight and that that weight as often as you can. Manders going back to those chops. Have a clubbing blow to the back. He's got a nice burst of offense in the early going, but in the last couple of minutes, it's been all Manders. Yeah, definitely. I mean, and and, and that's why he's a champion. And, and speaking of that, he used almost all of Papa Giorgio's five count because he has the champion, champion's advantage. Manders does not have to win this match. Gigi has to beat Manders by pinfall or submission. Disqualification on talent does not mean a damn thing. Manders holds on to the goal. For what happened last night? It was well, it was also in the goes to be fair. Sure, but what happened last night? He lost. Who lost? Manders. He got pinned. That's indeed the first time in almost a year he got pinned. I mean, can lightning strike twice? We shall see as Manders, again, worrying too much about the H2O faithful, allowing Gigi to crotch him up on the turnbuckles. Now this is... Treacherous. Yeah, very treacherous. We don't see someone, you know, big a boy like Gigi Everson climb up on those turnbuckles all too often. Not a lot of room to work with no, when you're that not, size. No, 285 pounds oh, climbing up there. Biting on the fingers of Everson. Oh, wait, no, no, wait, he's going to go for that super power slam off the turnbuckles? There's no way. I think he is. If there's a will, there's a way. Manders will figure it out. Unless Everson just continues to pound him in the side. Oh, whoa, what is Gigi thinking about here? Maybe he's Super Saido. They're both on the top. Look out! Oh, my God! Belly of that suplex off the top. Avalanche style. Took him straight down off the top. Oh. That was a hell of a bad landing for both guys, not just Manders. And, 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 and you can tell early that this uh, audience, these folks here at the Kevin Hogan Memorial Hall, they're invested in this matchup. They're invested in the H2O uh, Heavyweight Championship. They're not just here to see the blood and guts for the main event between Neil Diamond Cutter and Matt Tremont. Oh, that's they're here for the duration. Summary attack. John Wu dropkick from the big man. Big man getting up there. Almost like look, look like the uh, Hindenburg. First knife edges. A big ass vessel. Yes. Crashing down into you. Reversal of the Irish whip. Oh, going for the left arm. Oh, lost the left arm. German suplex. Release style. Yeah, just dump man is right on his head. A low super kick. And now, oh, that body weight drive for Clark Manders. Two. Oh. That was very, very close. You know, the thing that I think was a weak link in that combination wasn't any of the moves. I think it's the positioning of the pin. Yeah. It was more so on the stomach, more so than the chest. Yes, yes. So he didn't put all the way across the shoulder because you are correct. Oh, Manders gets the boot up. Now Manders. Going off the middle, turnbuckle. Bulldog, Steiner Bulldog. And then the low DDT. Cover, one, two, no. I mean, that, that's a hell of a combination to kick out of. That's a lot of blunt force head trauma coming at you in a quick amount of time. First that uh, Steiner Bulldog, as you put it, and then that low DDT. That's a lot of 
blunt, blunt force impact to the cranium in real quick time. He's going for the layer. Well, low bridge. Andrews goes outside, but lands on his feet. GG. Oh, hits him with that right hand. Another right hand. Now they're back on the apron. Oh, jeez. We're right back on the apron where we had a lot of bad things occur last night. I loved it. Oh, we're here to see. Post to the eye. Oh, clothesline right on the apron. Apron. Oh, oh man, telling the crowd to move. Look out, look out. Oh, no. Everson landed hard. Yeah, watch out for the wall. Mandos wants to count out. Watch out for that wall, that bam, it might yeah. be a little lighter, bro. <laughs> and by lighter, you mean a zippo. And now, of course, Mandos, again, as we mentioned, Jeremy's advantage. He wants to get the cheap way out and get the count out victory. Hey, a win is a win is a win. Is that five? Is that halfway in Chiki? Emil Chiki's not moved. And now he's going to Emil J, not Emil Chiki. Oh, yeah. How long have you known me now? A long time. Too long. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Gigi, get back in. Thank goodness. Gigi gets back in the ring. Manders, uh, GG for good going. Yes. Yeah, I mean, better not be motioning up here. I'm afraid of him. The cowboy. I ain't afraid of him. I ain't afraid of him. person from Iowa. Hey, man. That was a big dude. Man, I'm even bigger. He drives <laughs> like a maniac. I'm scared of him. <laughs> Get in the car with him. No, I'm just kidding. Thank you for the ride. Oh, wait a minute. Anyway. Oh, Jay's a hat. Saw Jim Duggan. Whoa. Whoa. Stands. Nobody helped. Oh, he hit. smoked him. He Larry. smoked him. Two. No. Not over. Wow. How do you stand to Larry like that? The boy the three-point stance was able to hit that Western Lariat. But Everson again still able to kick out. Now, what's Mandy's now? How strong is Gigi Everson? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Or how tough? Oh, he's got Everson. a great moonsault. We don't ever see Mandy's go up to the top that often. Moonsault! Oh! Nobody home! No water in the pool! Astrio! That's it! The champion! One, two! second away from the new champion. You want to see a new champion, I don't do you? I do want to see a new champion. You like Gigi Everson, don't you? I do you? like Gigi Everson. You like him more than Manders? I like anything more than Manders. Wait till he hears you say that. I hope he does. Now going back to the arm. Stopping away the arm. You ain't going to be able to do no lariats now, are you, Manders? Now, Everson, short arm. Oh, he's going for the STO again. Bought the close on. Oh, big right hand. I'll tell you, Everson. Off. Oh, oh. No, he got it. The boss code. Kind of got spooked. Oh, he just falls on top. Come on, you can kick out. Oh. Damn. Oh. See, here's the thing, Jace. 